Hello everyone, I'm Halifax and in this quick video I want to show you basically how you can uh, properly enable 3D compatibility mode in every DirectX 11 game. The easiest way is just by switching profiles with NVIDIA Inspector. However, do, doing so you lose some optimizations like the SLI bits and other um, internal optimizations that we will talk about. So uh, that's not actually the proper way to do it. Plus, you all, all, always rely on a profile. So, for example, if I have uh, 10 DirectX 11 games which I want to play, I, I all 10 of them I need to assign to a profile or a different, the same profile or a different profile, and uh, basically uh, profiles that support UV compatibility mode are very limited. So, instead of actually changing the profiles, I'm going to show you how you can enable 3D compat mode in the official profile. <coughs> so yeah, before we start, this can be done using the NVIDIA Inspector tool or the GeForce 2D Profile Manager. If you don't know where to get it, just Google it, you'll find it. So <coughs> first thing first, we need to export. I'm going to use this one. And then you know, in NVIDIA Inspector is basically an option. Uh, export all driver profiles in NVIDIA text format. But I'm going to use the profiler, the official profiler. Export, export, and we have it here. Now, if you look at this file, it's a 437 megabytes. If we want to import it back, we will get an error. There was a problem. That's because if we go in C, program data, NVIDIA Corporation, DR, DRS. Here we find two binary files, NV, DRS, database 0 binary and database 1 binary. And we also have a cell selector, which actually this little file actually tells you which database is being used by the driver. So in order to export the correct profiles, we will need to delete that selector. So just delete the file. And then if they export again, yes. This time we will get a 3.77 megabytes file. So we open this one. We search for Dragon Age Edition because this is the game I want to show. And these are all the bits inside executables and so on and so on and so on. Um, here I found out the flags. So basically, this is the flag that enables compatibility mode. That's the flag, 079A, uh, DA, DA. So, <clears throat> and the value ranges from 240 until 25A or whatever higher value you want to put here. But usually, if I stay around 25A to, not, to 60 to 6A or something like that. But for the sake of this uh, video, I'm going to take the first value. So that's 24A at the end there. Um, and I'm just going to append it here. Now the internal setting flag equals V0 is important. If you don't write this one, the driver will not pick this flag as active and 3D uh, compact mode will not be enabled. So we save this one. I'm going to close that one. Back here. So before we actually hit import, we are going to Remove the selector and say import NVIDIA profiles. The profiles got imported. The selector is created. Now we don't need to delete the selector. We only need to delete the selector when we're exporting and importing profiles. So that's being, that being said, we launch the game. <coughs> and... <coughs> As you can see, 3D compatibility mode on. So, 3D compatibility mode is on. Yes, that's the MSA, MSAA4. I get it one. Of course, you can still toggle between compat mode on and off. If we hit continue, probably due to the driver or the game, crash this time or maybe not I, I'm using 3D discovery mode to 
yeah to show it easier yeah see now for for example <laughs> the 3d drivers yeah and it crashed so that's the problem i'm going to show you how you can get past that one so <clears throat> the next thing i want to show you are the different flags and that's actually the different values for the flag and that's actually the most important part so we launch the game again Disable division. We wait for the load for the game to load all this stuff. Um, yeah, like I said, I think this is a uh, bug in either the game or the driver. I'm more inclined to think is the game because the game just crashes without the division even being enabled in the yeah, control panel. Oh yeah, the name the game is known for crashing quite a lot. So yeah, 3D vision is still disabled, we are loading the game. Yes, loading, come on, load faster, my little friend. And once we are inside, if you enable 3D vision directly, the game will crash. So now if I enable it, it will crash instead. Alt tab. Yeah, you make it uh, window mode, I'll tap again to full screen, enable, and you get the compatibility mode. Now, as you might see in this vid in the video, everything is flat. So, no 3D whatsoever. While in a normal mode, you get a 3D. Yeah, it's perfect. So, this is because of the value there. So, that's the 240 value, which in this game actually gives you a complete flat image while in 3d compact mode the next value is the 257 now this is the most commonly used the 257 one so if i put 257 save 257 save uh, we go back here we again need to delete the selector before porting Import media profiles we got imported. Launch the game again. I know this takes a while, uh, but I, I want it basically to show it on video. For the written description, I'll show you just pictures. Starting, my friend. Start. Yeah, now it's starting. So again, disable. Yes, thank you, Bioware, EA, or uh, Frostbite 3 Crash Engine. Come on, yes, I know that's a save icon. I've seen it times then. then. Imagine, yes, continue. <coughs> Again, we need to do the Alt Tab thingy. Up thing and we enable and voila we have it in 3d the compact mode that is now one thing sorry about that the game decided to crash so i cut the video there and yeah now we're back basically where we were so like i was saying now you can see that everything is in uh, 3d including the ui elements and the if you look in the top left corner you can see how uh, it jumps based on what's behind it so now if I open the map you can see some hollows exactly here see that's because my character is still being rendered in the back and uh, yeah everyone knows all these weird artifacts but using the original flag we get, got uh, to the image using this flag we get this thing where the UI is also pushed into depth and jumping and hollowing and all that crap 
so let's see if we can't do better and of course we can do better than this so the next flag that I personally use instead of the 2571 is 25A again delete the selector import we imported them start the game again <coughs> sorry about that and we wait for ages for the game to load probably I should cut but yeah let's not cut this time yes Do the alt tab trick. And I think the way the engine works is it's changing modes in a couple of seconds. See? Exactly like that. Now it's changed the rendering mode. That's why I get that warning. So because the game is constantly changing the resolution and whatever parameters inside, I think that's why the game crashes and the compatibility mode crashes so like I said it's not a problem with the actual 3D vision driver but mostly a problem with the game so now if I enable wow what do you know we still get the 3D part of the game rendered while the hood menus map and everything else is in plain 2D so we don't get that uh, jumping all over the place interface and that annoying uh, yeah, stuff you can increase the convergence like in any game however probably you can already notice it the hallows see are there so yeah unfortunately I didn't find a way to remove those th that hallowing and I think that's actually part of the algorithm so I don't think there is a way to hide it more than this but basically this is how you can play with the 3d compatibility mode settings and yeah besides this the game renders very nice in 3d except for the crashes when you're making oh yeah when you're changing the areas or load screens or stuff like that so i'm also going to make a description a written description of this uh video so yeah hope it helps and see you next time